The federal government is floating the idea of allowing Australians to import their own cars. The idea has prompted cautious response from the opposition and Senate crossbench, worried that dealers could follow manufacturers to the wall. From Canberra, James Bennett reports. With local manufacturing winding down, Australian car buyers may one day have the opportunity to buy direct. Opening up uh, the option for individuals to import uh, new vehicles. Cabinet has agreed to look at removing barriers, restricting buyers from bringing in new cars from overseas. The government says it could give consumers more choice and access to cheaper cars once the local industry closes in 2017. But the opposition fears it could see car dealers go the same way, car makers. The car dealership industry in this country has grave cause for concern about that matter. There will be job losses as a result of this decision. The idea is set to face a testing inspection in a safety conscious Senate. Any net consumer benefit will be swamped by safety concerns, by the chaos it will cause for dealership. It could end up meaning that cars will be more expensive for everyone else. Of all the likely hurdles, there are perhaps none greater than the falling exchange rate. As Australians' purchasing power declines, so too does their taste for imports. Joe Hockey's been in America for meetings on the global economy and the Treasurer is confronting more challenging views on Australia's outlook. The unemployment rate, 6%. You've got iron ore prices collapsing. You've got your currency under pressure, your credit rating under pressure as well. You're in a bit of a tough spot. I'm not as pessimistic as you. Our, our credit rating is certainly not under any pressure and the Aussie dollar has come down. But that is uh, giving our exporters a, a, a better opportunity. The lower exchange rate is a boon for aftermarket manufacturers with export aspirations. But sadly, for motoring enthusiasts, specialist imports aren't part of the government's plan. James Bennett, ABC News, Canberra.